And we're back, Human Nuggets here with some more Modern Warfare 2 content for you today. Uh, the haunting update just came out, which is the Halloween themed thing. And the main part, at least like the multiplayer half of it, is this here. It is exactly the same as the trophy hunt event from Season 3. Um, down to the fact that like it was a Rose and Koenig operator skin last time and it's there the same. Like, you know, it's a chopper instead of a tank this time, but like it works exactly the same. I'm still getting two souls per kill, like I was getting two tokens, I don't know if that's intended or not. I like that this is a Zombies in Spaceland reference, but like compared to everything else in the game, that and the other weapon thing, like I like the bloody duct tape for the wrap, but like compared to all the other blueprints and stuff, even in like the paid battle passes, it's very lackluster, which I've come to expect. There is... Next week there is a camo thing that'll be unlockable. Uh, we can't see how much they'll cost yet or not, but um... Yeah, so that that's like the only kind of interesting part about it for me is whatever that camo ends up being. There is also this part here, which is for Warzone. I think they've made the map have a night mode now. Um, and it's like you gotta hunt down different creatures and you can get a blueprint for it. Each of them has like a calling card you get as well, with this having fucking something to get a reward in Diablo 4 for whatever reason. Um, I know it's another thing on Battle.net, but yeah, I found that a bit weird. They've also put uh, like kind of reskins on for two of the maps, uh, El Islo here, and Embassy is the other one, like they've got shit up kind of around. I don't really notice the reskin of this map, except that big glowing, um, I'm not going to butcher the name of the skull because I cannot remember. Um, but like that distracts me while I'm trying to take out snipers that camp in that building. Um, other than that though, I don't really notice the changes on this map when I'm running around. Um, the other map is a lot diff- a lot more different from, uh, its base variety. And you can see, two souls per unique person killed. I don't know why it's two instead of one. Last time they had just one, but like sometimes it was giving us two and then they did a double event and that's why we all started getting two. And there we are, you kept it 12 souls per match, so even if new people join and you get more unique kills, um, it just kind of tells you, no, nope, you got to finish the match to cash it in, and that's kind of all you have going for you. The good part about them, though, uh, is that most people do seem to care about collecting them all, so... They actually, I mean obviously there's always going to be people that camp, but there's a lot more people I've noticed actually running around the map to uh, try and collect their tags. Um, I'm hoping there is like some final thing that costs like a thousand, like the calling card did last time. Uh, just as like, you know, the, the grind for it all. And that was, that's that's what I was talking about earlier there. Um, I didn't end up managing to get them, but just my eyes want to focus on the bright shiny thing in the middle of my screen while I'm trying to uh, focus on the person in the window. And it's like, yep, okay, I get why it's there, but it's in a bad spot for um, for what it is, in my opinion. Um, I, even if they were like one of them, I feel like it'd be fine. But just the choice they made my magpie brain does not like it. Yeah. I had to cycle matches a few times to get into a uh, embassy match and somehow ended up with the same people from last match. But arguably, the uh, changes to this map are actually more... Fuck, that's the... Yeah, fuck, God. <clears throat> I mean, arguably, it's actually less interesting because it's mostly just like, you know, 
kind of blood stains everywhere with some corpses. But I find like the atmosphere um, like a lot more enjoyable with the changes. Um, like the the kind of thick. Fo it doesn't affect visibility much. Uh, I guess that depends on your settings more than anything, though. Did I? But it does make sniper glints very, very visible um, through the kind of mist. I'm just like, yeah. Like, you can see how visible that laser and uh, scope glint were there. Which, well, like, it's a map that... I mean, it's kind of... You can predict where snipers are going to be well enough anyway, but it's just... Kind of a nice visual change, um, that it's appearing there. Doesn't, like, affect it too much, though, that it feels like this version of the map is better or worse than the other one. Um, well, I, I do actually prefer this to the base embassy map. I think that it's, um... I'd probably get annoyed if it was like this all the time. Like, it's it works because it's Halloween. Um, but, like, yeah. I think it does work very well. It does its job. Um, along with, yeah, just things glow, like glowing things sticking out more is nice to me. It kind of makes me want them to have more dusk maps. Like, I don't want night vision mode. Um, I'm guessing most of the community didn't, considering there only ended up being one map that was like it. Fuck, that was some atrocious aim. Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, like this, Dusk, doesn't affect- like, even the base operator skins with nothing glowing on them, I'm not having too much time picking them out. I know, right after I failed abysmally to kill that guy, it's not, um, the best example, but... Yeah, I think some more atmosphere would really do some wonders for some of the maps. Um, I don't, like, I'm not saying I want them to implement that with Modern Warfare 3 coming. Oh, fuck off, you cunt. Camping with an auto shoddy. You know, even if they did it, like, just events more often, where there was atmospheric changes to the maps that don't change how they play, I think that could really keep the game fresher for people who are playing all the time. Um, for now though, that's all I've really got to say on the event. Um, there's not a lot interesting from it, but it is visually cool. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one.